team moving back in uh, along with some stormtroopers. So he's just kind of occupying this area here, uh, which is a good way to control the map, honestly. So. Uh, we have a little bit of exchange of fire going on here. Sherman tank firing away, uh, pretty much murdering these bargain vos commanders who are trying to cap this strategic point here. And some nice flanking going on here from the stormtroopers. Stormtroopers, sneaky guys, moving right along. But uh, uh, do make note of this, by the way. I'm going to pause and just look at the map here. There are so many, there are just myriad ways to cross here. You've got a crossing here, 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 the bridge, and just a, a mishmash of crosses over here. Uh, I really like how both players identify this as the key area of defense. Uh, this little bridge right here is your defense against the left-hand side. It's too hard to set up any sort of defenses in this area because there's just too many flanking positions and all that. But this little spot right here tends to give you great control over this crossroads and uh, overall, you know, the, the important stuff of this map. If you're not going to control the left-hand point as a bottom player, uh, definitely control this area. And if you do control the left-hand point as a top player, definitely control this area as well. So I like that. Uh, that's just a nice little side note there in terms of the, the layout of this map. Uh, looks like we do have infantry pillage activated, and the stormtroopers have popped out and are surprised attacking the rest of these airborne who are just kind of hanging out in the area. Oh, God, just look how effective those... Oh, no! Oh, my God, everybody's effective against everybody! Well, first off, the stormtroopers were incredibly effective <laughs> against against the paratroopers, but then the uh, Sherman tanks were like, well, by the way, we're also very effective against infantry, and uh, kind of even that up. So kind of a, a null game there for anybody. And uh, good forward repairs here, like that as well. Note once again, constant air reconnaissance, just you know, never ending, never ending air reconnaissance. Uh, evidence of massive supply drops in this area, uh, also worth noting. Sherman tanks moving on in, and oops, gonna be very wary. That was a pretty lucky Panzer Shrek shot there, right to the front armor, but did some serious damage here. So the tank is gonna back away for a little bit, just kind of in investigating the area here. We'll see if uh, any anybody's going to pursue him, but likely no. I'm surprised, actually, that they didn't uh, just immediately try to recap that point. Big, big old strafing run once again, by the way. It looks like that killed at least one and the HMG team. Always good to take out that kind of stuff whenever you can. Uh, great use of strafing run. With strafing run being really upgraded, and uh, if it's close to the edge of the map, oftentimes the strafing run happens at the same time that you click the button. You don't even get a chance to see the uh, the smoke flares go down or anything like that. It's just kind of like, boom, instant strafing run. So it's kind of hard to catch that. And uh, the graphic is very small. It's just a few little a pitter-patter of bullets in the dirt, that sort of thing. So uh, units just kind of moving along here. So we're kind of uh, nearing the, you know nearing the chill part of this game here where everybody's just trying to reestablish control over this area. So we'll take a look at the points right now. 383 uh, for Pro Pipe and 271 for Alaric B. Alaric B having light control over the center but not actually capping this point. I really want to see him cap that point. More paratroopers being called in reinforcing this area. Doop -doop -doop -doop. And for the time being, all is quiet. Except for the the light, <laughs> the light jingle of a machine gun in the distance, but that's okay though. Uh, by the way, notice the elongated barrel upgrade here for the Sherman tank, uh, doing some extra damage there with that, and chasing away this machine gun team. Oh, with the beautiful flank by the airborne as well. All that's looking really good. Stormtroopers moving in. Uh, looks like they are researching another Panzer Shrek, so they will be double Panzer Shrek wielding, uh, more effective against vehicles. Probably gonna try and flank maybe, but uh, there are a lot of units around, him, so he has to be careful about that. Sherman tank once again moving on up, taking a Panzer Shrek to the front, uh, double Panzer Shrek rather, and backing off. Uh, needs to be kind of focusing his fire on these stormtroopers here, but um, pretty good unit control here. He's just kind of moving up, doing some damage. Oh boy, getting hit a little bit there, backing off. Note Vet 1 on this Sherman tank. Nine kills there, looking rather dashing. And uh, otherwise, all is well. Not a single unit on the far left here for either player. And here comes a nice little center control here. Uh, looks like uh, coming up from the left, we have uh, these Gladiator Riflemen backed up by Vet 2 Riflemen. Vet 2, really awesome. Even picking up a Panzer Shrek. Pretty awesome there. Uh, totally taking out this machine gun. I'm sorry, that's another Panzer Shrek on the ground. Always good to pick that stuff up whenever you can, but be aware that grabbing more Panzer Shreks reduces your effectiveness against infantry because you kind of lose a little bit more rifles. Wow, wow, serious damage. Serious focus fire here from the Gladiator Rifleman and the Vet 2 Rifleman. Everybody needs to get out of the way right now. Um, we have uh, a few more Stormtroopers backed up here by the Bargain Volks Rangers, and I'm uh, not really sure what you're doing here, Pro Pipe. Oh no, he's kind of getting a little too close for comfort. He decided to get really intimate here and put some damage on these guys but got just within the range of this bunker back here. It is now going to have to retreat. Uh, pretty much whenever you're attacking people with assault rifles, 
and you just have regular rifles, you really want to keep your distance. Uh, that's always, use your range to your advantage there. So he had a good thing going on. I think he just got over eager and wanted to kill everybody and just kind of forgot that there was a bunker there. Uh, always important to be aware of that kind of stuff. Anyhow, paratroopers continuing to be annoying. Check this out, just capping all the way up into the front of uh, Alaric B's base. Alaric B, quick to, uh, ooh, survivalist grenadiers. These guys are awesome. You can see they have the uh, MG42 upgrade right away. And a bunch of other little random cool abilities here. But no time, no time. They're at at war here right now. So we've got recoilless rifle upgrades going on for the airborne while they get away. And the survivalist grenadier is just going to cap this position once again. Uh, rifleman, total dominant control over the left. And now this is the kind of stuff I love seeing. But unfortunately, it looks like a strafing run took care of a good amount of these guys out here. It looks like one, two, three casualties, two of which being stormtroopers. Uh, and uh, just two bargain Vokes grenadiers now, uh, just kind of left uh, on the left here. Uh, finally, it looks like Alaric B is getting around to recapping some of these points that he lost early on. It's definitely always important to keep control of this stuff in your backyard. Like, this fuel point way down here really needs it. Uh, you know, I think it's obvious at this point that he's not really going for his own, um, his own armor. I mean, he's probably saving up for an armor, you know, armor support at some point. But since he hasn't got a Panzer uh, command or anything like that, uh, he is likely just going to be, you know, doing this the old school way without armor. But we'll see. But it's a good thing too because he does not have fuel right now. And look at how many how many units uh, Pro Pipe has got on this side of the map. So that's all looking good. Uh, but I do like the fact that he is uh, you know doing what he can and just kind of trying to recap the rest of the map, taking the uh, the command point to the left. Uh, it's kind of this is kind of like the the you know the way it goes when you're playing against good players is as soon as you finally get that third point you wanted, uh, you naturally had to whoa bargain folks grenadiers getting Gosu blocked there a little bit. And, 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 will they get away? Will they get away? Yes, it looks like they did get away. But uh, not to be dissuaded, these vet two... No, they killed him! Oh, no, he died! Oh, no, unfortunate. And uh, everybody else getting out of here. These vet two riflemen are just boss. Uh, you can see 19 kills for these guys. Uh, going right for the point here. Sherman Tank now getting a little bit, a uh, little bit overambitious here. Um, you know, as long as you don't overcommit, this kind of stuff is fine. Just, you know, don't... Don't expect to win the game, and you should be good. Because I know Pro Pipe knows that he's not—he's not expecting to kill this entire base with the Sherman tank. But what he is expecting is that Alaric B will have to react to this in some way. He's going to have to either make anti-tank guns or bring back his units, or you know, he's going to have to retreat units in some way to deal with this. Uh, and so the pressure is now on. And oh no, he's going to deal with this by bringing a Tiger in. Well, that'll certainly deal with it. So we see the off-map reinforcements finally coming in. Here's the entry point on this map, by the way. So that Tiger showed up instantly. And uh, Tiger versus Sherman, even a Vet 1 Sherman, Tiger's got a serious advantage there. And uh, the Austin flak pans are doing a good job of just kind of keeping the infantry away. And oh god, oh god, you Vet 2 riflemen, be careful, you sirs. Uh, looks like the Tiger just kind of blowing away this Sherman tank here. I'm going to follow this guy into battle for a little while. Oh, completely killing the Sherman tank. Uh, now turning his wrath towards all of these infantry to his right and left. Uh, we'll see uh, what's going to happen here now. Um, Airborne are surprisingly good against uh, against Flak Panzers. You can see that they take they take casualties, but oh no, whoa! They take casualties. Uh, I will emphasize that point. They take a lot of casualties, but they can uh, get some serious damage. Oh come on, little airborne guy, run, 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 run! Oh, and a nice little whiff there into the dirt, and therefore he's probably okay. Uh, what was I saying here? But with their recoilless rifles, they can do a lot of damage uh, close range to uh, Flak Panzers. So that's kind of a an even trade there. A lot of extra damage here in this Tiger. Going to have to repair all that, but for the time being, um, that has kind of, you know, um, you know, it has kind of uh, got rid of... Oh, no! Is it a bombing run? Is it a bombing run? Look out! Look out! Poor poor Tiger. Unfortunately, he has not slowed down. Boom! Completely annihilating that machine gunner. Uh, unfor unfortunately, the, the Tiger was not, you know, its engine wasn't slowed down or anything like that. And the rest of the bombing run just kind of hits nothing but a, a little bit of a wooden fence there. Not too bad, though. Notice that he followed up right away with a reconnaissance because he wanted to know what the damage was. These Vet 2 riflemen here are just awesome down here. Uh, doing some serious damage, even firing uh, Panzer Shreks back at their German former owners. Uh, Volkswagen is poking around here again. A little passive-aggressive fighting going on over here. Nothing, nothing too amazing. Uh, repairing that Tiger, uh, but you can see that that the strategy worked pretty well uh, for Pro Pipe. Uh, he kind of it wasn't bad. It wasn't overly aggressive. He just forced a Lark B to take losses in his own base as opposed to pushing out and taking losses. So. Uh, looks like the Airborne were trying to hope that they could get a few extra shots on this Tiger. I think they retreated kind of early, honestly. I would have loved to have seen just one more volley of recoilless shots. 
and in you know and backed by this uh this pack that they picked up a little bit here you can see these are paratroopers manning this pack uh but uh this remand heavy machine gun had no problem gunning down uh that anti-tank gun there so uh you know when you're when you're this much in the lead it's not a bad idea to force your opponent to defend his own base and i think that's all pro pipe was trying to do there and that was very effective so tons of paratroopers paratroopers everywhere all the support you <laughs> support weapons you could need but he doesn't need any of them uh, pretty much the situation doesn't really call for him needing any machine guns or anything like that he has a dominant infantry presence here whoa vet three rifleman running 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 look at that he's like okay i'm getting out of here but i'm taking this panzer shrek with me it's my panzer shrek so uh, vet three really brutal here survival is grenadiers the only thing that can really stand up to them and finally getting some kills uh, meanwhile capping the center here with these engineers just for, again again notice what it what it feels like at these high levels of play to be fighting on multiple fronts all at the same time and that sort of thing uh, again now you have vet two riflemen coming up with the paratroopers with the engineers uh, just kind of rocking this place sorry double paratroopers i don't know why i thought there were engineers there and wow notice notice this kind of movement here he puts pressure on them and as soon as he sees them retreat he chases them along just to try and get some extra kills there only getting one kill but that's not too bad uh i kind of want to see him take one of these paratroopers like the weaker one and cap this point but you know, at this point, he kind of thinks he's about to win, so I don't really think he cares. Uh, opening fire here on regular Volksgrenadiers, no problem. Here comes the Tiger, and this is not what a Tiger wants to see. Although, pause, uh, notice that this distance between the rock walls is about the same as this distance <laughs> from <laughs> tread to tread on the Tiger. So, not too bad, actually. Oh, God, look out, infantry. Oh, my God, squish, squish, squish. Oh, so many squishes going on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunately, pathing when they have no better place to go doesn't work out too well in close quarters uh... looks like they got some good sticky bombs up there despite getting just completely squished oh and that's a really good shot there jibbing one gentleman throwing the other guy into the air uh, another sticky bomb going off here completely immobilized oh come on recoilless you are our only hope come on little recoilless wielding paratroopers you could do it just a couple of paratroopers left oh a few hit points oh no and the tiger gets taken out by the remains of the paratroopers Good use of cover there just to kind of stall and get it done. Notice, by the way, paratroopers reinforcing on the fly, doing their thing here. Oh, a little bit of Panzer Trek action going on there. Not too much. And uh, I think that's going to be it. And Alaric B says GG, and ProPipe is the victor today. So congratulations to both players. I enjoyed this game, and I also enjoyed getting a chance to take a look at this map, because uh, I don't often see this map. Uh, just, I don't know, just for whatever reason. So once again, I am Harlequin Coho. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to subscribe. And I'd like to give a huge shout-out to Diggity SC. Like I said at the beginning, please, if you didn't already, go check out his channel. He's one of my favorite uh, StarCraft 2 and StarCraft uh, commentators. So check him out. Either way, uh, good night, good luck, have fun.